if you take a little vacation up to the icy waters of the North Atlantic and Arctic Ocean, and then, if you're brave enough, that you plunge down 7,200 feet, 2,200 meters, below the surface. And there, lurking in the depths, you'll find one of the ocean's most delightfully odd creatures, the Greenland Shark. No offense to them, but let's be real, they look like living mummies of the sea. And yet, somehow, they've turned out to be even weirder than they look. In fact, it turns out that what they look like isn't really what they are. And I know that sounds confusing, so let me explain. Take a look at those eyes, those sharp, bulging, alien-looking eyes. You can't miss them. I used to think they were perfectly adapted for life in the pitch-black depths of the Arctic, like some built-in night vision goggles for spotting sneaky prey. So how many Greenland sharks are blind? Almost all of them. Scientists estimate that over 90%, maybe even every single one, has some level of blindness. At most, they might sense faint changes between light and dark, but that's about it. But here's the twist. They're practically useless. Most Greenland sharks are legally blind, not from age or injury, but because of a parasitic worm called Omatocoida elongata that latches onto their eyeballs and eats away at them like a freeloading eyeball vampire. At one point, scientists thought these parasites might actually be pulling their weight, maybe by glowing in the dark and luring prey toward the shark. Kind of like built-in bait. Cool theory, right? Yeah, wrong. Turns out they're just useless. No light show, no benefits, just face-eating squatters. So let's recap. The Greenland shark is blind, parasitized, glacially slow, thanks to a body full of slow-twitch muscle fibers, and lives in pitch black, freezing abyssal waters. Basically, the universe stacked the deck against it. And yet, somehow, it thrives. Despite every disadvantage, the Greenland shark is still an apex predator. So how does a slow, blind, parasite-covered shark survive in the freezing deep sea? It's all about its other senses. Even though its eyes barely work, the Greenland shark has amazing hearing, a super strong sense of smell, especially for finding dead animals, and the ability to feel tiny pressure changes in the water. This helps it see with its body, letting it sense what's around, even in total darkness. Thanks to this, the Greenland shark is kind of like a deep sea ninja. It's slow, but that's actually a good thing. Instead of chasing prey, it quietly sneaks up on them. Most of the time, it follows the smell of rotting animals, like dead fish, seals, or even whales. Greenland sharks don't just eat fish or seals. They've also been caught snacking on moose, horses, and even reindeer. Yep, animals that somehow ended up swimming in the ocean. Researchers have actually found remains of these land animals inside the shark's stomach. That's not even the craziest part. Greenland sharks are huge, about 21 feet long and weigh over a ton, so it takes a lot to surprise them. But what's really shocking is that they've also eaten polar bears. Seriously. And according to experts, it wasn't just some dead bear floating in the water. Water. It looked like the shark actually attacked and ate it alive. Which means, even in the Arctic, not even polar bears are safe from this slow, blind beast. And if the prey is small enough, the Greenland shark can just suck it in and swallow it whole. Even things the size of a human. Luckily for us, Greenland sharks don't seem too interested in humans. Don't mess with these sharks, even when they're dead. Why? Because Greenland sharks are basically swimming toxic bombs. Their flesh is incredibly poisonous, more so than any other shark in the world. This is all thanks to the crazy amounts of urea and trimethylamine oxide in their bodies. Sounds fancy, but in short, it makes their meat dangerous to eat. If someone does try to eat it, things go downhill fast. You'll basically overload your body with urea, something that normally only happens if your kidneys stop working. Yeah, it's that bad. In some places, like Iceland, people actually eat Greenland shark meat. They call it hockerl. Yeah, the spelling is a bit tricky. To make it safe to eat, the meat is fermented for over a month. This process breaks down the harmful stuff like urea and turns it into ammonia. While ammonia is still toxic, it reaches safe levels after fermentation. But don't expect a tasty treat. Anthony Bourdain once said it was the worst thing he had ever eaten, calling it disgusting and terrible. Now you'd think these sharks might release all those toxins somehow, but nope, they don't pee at all. Instead, their urine gets absorbed by their own flesh, helping keep it from drying out. So they just hold on to all those toxins inside. Greenland sharks live in salty waters, so they need a way to keep that salt out. And guess what? Urea does the trick. They have so much urea in their bodies that human pee can't even compare to their concentration. This makes it really tough for anything to eat them, even if it wanted to. 
Now, here's the wild part. Despite being blind, toxic, and slow, Greenland sharks have become the longest living vertebrates on Earth. They can live at least 272 years, and some could be over 500 years old. That's insane. And these ancient sharks don't just live long, they also have lots of babies. Females can have up to 700 pups in their lifetime. While humans have a pregnancy that lasts about 9 to 10 months, Greenland shark pregnancies can last anywhere from 8 to 18 years. Yep, you heard that right. Greenland sharks can live for centuries, and one big reason for this is their extremely slow metabolism. It's so slow that their body and DNA can actually repair themselves faster than their metabolism can cause damage. They only need to eat about 200 grams of fish a day, which is less than 0.1% of their body weight. To put that in human terms, it would be like us only needing a few chips to get by. And if they don't eat for a while, no problem. They can survive without food for over a year. Their slow metabolism also means they grow super slowly, adding only one centimeter each year. They don't even reach sexual maturity until they're about 150 years old. And they're still not even halfway to their full size by then. And they never stop growing. They just keep growing throughout their lives. The Greenland shark's internal system works in slow motion. Their hearts beat at just 5 beats per minute. And they move slower than any other fish when adjusted for their size. Because they're so slow and live so long, some people think they might even perceive time differently than other animals. It's almost like they're in their own world, living at a different pace. It's pretty wild that these sharks even exist at all. Recently, scientists have been studying Greenland sharks to see if their long life secrets could help humans. But here's the problem. While we take from them, we give nothing back. Humans are their biggest threat. Back in the 1960s, these sharks were hunted for their liver oil, believed to have healing powers. Luckily, synthetic oils replaced this, and the hunting stopped. But now, commercial fishing is a major issue. Even though they're not the target, around 3,500 Greenland sharks are accidentally caught each year. Many don't survive. In fact, up to half of all Greenland sharks may have been killed by human activities in recent years. So next time you dip your toes in the Arctic, remember, there's a blind, toxic, centuries-old shark that's probably been watching. Thanks for watching, and until next time on Nature Visions.